It is Tech Tuesday with Tim here. Uh, this is a, the very first of the series we're going to do in the technology types of videos and how-to videos uh, for our YouTube channel. So uh, if you haven't had, you know, checked out our YouTube channel, we do a lot of different complete guide walkarounds on our different Ford products and Lincoln products, uh, specific to the, not only the model but also the trim. Uh, and we go into very detailed videos, they're very long videos, uh, but a lot of people like those videos and so we decided to start doing some how-to videos and we're going to do a Tech Tuesday. Uh, so we're going to every Tuesday talk about a different tech feature, um, break that down a little bit, a little bit shorter videos should be under 10 minutes each. Uh, so you can get a little more information on the technology that are on these vehicles. If you have a Ford vehicle yourself or you're thinking about getting one, probably uh, really good to be uh, tuning in every Tuesday at 6 p.m. Uh, Central Time Zone. Uh, we are going to do these videos as a premiere so you can chat with me as those videos go live at 6 o'clock. I'll be on uh, my computer uh, being able to answer any questions right there that you ha might have uh, while you're watching it. I'll watch it with you uh, so that we can go over any questions you might have initially on that video and then again if you drop those comments down after the video goes live from then uh, you'll still be able to you know communicate with me. I usually respond to those videos uh, I won't be on, you know, always when you're on, but I will try to respond the next morning, next day, uh, and to your questions you might have. So they'll always drop those down in the comments. Also, don't forget to smash the like button. Let's let other people know it's a great video. I'd appreciate the, the love and consideration there. And also, if you do like the Tech Tuesday videos, you might check out some of our other videos. Hit the red subscribe button down below so you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell. Let's dive right in. Enough of that, all that stuff there to, uh, to promote the channel and everything. Um, but let's talk about some of the technology. Today's video, I want to talk about uh, connecting. The first thing you want to do when you get a vehicle and you purchase a vehicle is you want to be able to connect your phone to your vehicle. Very important. Uh, all the Sync technologies are great. You know, Sync 3, Sync 4 now is available in the 21 F-150. But we want to kind of show you how to connect your phone, how to do the initial setups and some of the things you might want to think about in the settings as well. Not just connecting your phone and saying, okay, now we're going to start using it. But you might want to think about some different settings that you want to set up so that you can use your uh, vehicle and connect to it and be able to use some things that maybe you didn't know and didn't think about. And this is a, a video series we're doing because we're doing so many remote uh, deliveries. And so some of our customers out there are not able to do this with their salesperson if we're delivering it to your house, uh, that kind of thing. So that way this video will really help out and maybe they, we did go over that with you but also we went over so many other things that you may have forgot them. So hopefully you can save this video. Uh, go ahead and save it to your playlist and that way it's always there if you want to access it real easily on your uh, when you go to YouTube you can do that. So let's jump inside, let's connect. I'm going to connect my phone first, show you how to do that and then we're going to dive into some of the different things about your phone, connectivity, Bluetooth and pairing, uh, some also some things that are specific to the Sync 4 system. Okay. So we're in the vehicle. I have the vehicle started and running here. Um, and uh, as you can see, the first thing I'm going to do is go to the phone screen. Uh, before I do that, I do want to point out something you can do with your vehicle if you want. You know, I have several different Ford vehicles uh, in my, on my phone. And so when I go to my, uh, you know, my connected, um, when I go down to my Bluetooth, um, I do have several different phones and different you know audio devices and right now I just have the one but I do sometimes connect to other vehicles too like my Expedition if you want to rename your vehicle you can do that let me show you real quick on the screen how you uh, where you get to that go to settings uh, and then you're going to also go, go to connectivity and some vehicles may not have connectivity and um, uh, so it's in different places uh, depends on on the sync for you go to connectivity and then go to bluetooth so you're looking for bluetooth it's going to be in that Bluetooth settings. You may just have settings of Bluetooth on the Sync 3. Uh, of course, you want to first make sure that's turned on. Uh, it should be turned on from the factory. And then you want to uh, change your vehicle name. So click on that. And then right now it says Ford F-150. It always say that if you want to name yours. Some people name their vehicle. Uh, you can do it right in here and uh, name your vehicle. Uh, not sure on the Ford Pass when you connect to it. Uh, and you start your Ford Pass connection if it's going to actually change the name in there you may have to set it in your Ford Pass app as well so we're going to in this case we're going to go and we're going to name it this is a white F-150 we're going to go white and then we're going to go F-150 oops there you go once you do that you want to hit this little return button and then it's saving that uh, name right there so there you go so now we've done that 
Okay, now we're going to go back to phone, and that's uh, just hit these buttons down here. Sync three will the same way. It'll have the phone button down there. Right now, we have no phones in there. Uh, if there are multiple phones, you're going to see a box for each of those, so we can add add new phones in there. Uh, if it's just one phone, it will probably really connect you, and then you can go to settings, and, and then you can also, you'll notice if you go to settings, and then we go to phone list. Uh, right now, it's not in there because not, not any phones in there, but once you have at least one phone connected, right here where it says add phone, we'll say phone list instead of just add phone, and then you would click on that, as you can see, Search for your vehicle on your then device it starts doing that. It once it is so, found. we're going to back up, go back over to phone here, so a couple of different places you can get there. So, we're going to click add phone here, and we're going to show you how this works. Uh, what I do to connect my phone real easily with this, I click add phone. Search for your vehicle on your device and select it once it is found. I usually struggle with finding it. I know if I hit the scan, it probably will show up. Uh, but instead, what I do is I hit discover other uh, devices and I hit continue. Um, and then what it'll Select do? one of the devices found by Sync. It found my phone because there are any other phones. If there's multiple phones in here, it might mul find multiple. If I click on Tim's Galaxy Note 10, that's my phone. Confirm that the pin displayed on Sync matches the pin displayed on your so device. You're seeing it there. I hit pair here. I hit yes. Oops, hit yes there. There we go. Pairing is successful. For your safety, please stay alert to changing road conditions and use Sync's voice-activated features while your vehicle is in motion. Pretty soon you're going to see a pop-up here that should ask you if you want to connect to 911 Assist. And it may not have because I actually connected earlier and, and deleted it. But on my phone also, I can allow access to contacts. And I, if I hit allow, then what it's going to do, and also it says allow access to messages. And then also access uh, allow access to contacts. So it's it's downloading. It's getting all that information uh, for that, so that you can get. It's going to download all those features on there. So uh, it, now it's in the process of downloading all those to my phone, um, and I can do that now. At some point you have you struggle with this, you can hit refresh. You can hit discover sync again uh, right there to try to connect your phone. Now if we go back, search for your vehicle on your device and select it once it is found. <laughs> So now if we go back or we hit the phone, you're going to see it has a couple different ones. Now it's not connected to my phone for some reason, so I hit connect and it's connecting to my phone. Uh, so if you have multiple phones in the vehicle, you can connect to a different phone. So if you don't want it to be connected, then you can connect to somebody else's phone instead. Uh, so once you're connected, you're going to see all these uh, this information here. You're going to also see your battery life up here. And we're on a different screen. Uh, that battery pops up to the top so you can see you know what your battery is and also I'm inside a building so I have very I have terrible um, connection to uh, data there uh, but that's where that's going to be located right up there so go back to phone you're going to see all these different uh, highlighted buttons uh, for you that you can you can go through we're going to go through some of those uh, in here but first thing I want to do is kind of go through your settings on your phone that's probably the first thing you want to do uh, so if you go to phone list right here uh, you're going to see Tim's Galaxy Note 10. If I click that arrow or just click on the name, it's going to give me uh, Tim's settings or it gives me my settings. So I'm going to click on that right there and you're going to see different settings that I can manage. And one of them is contacts. So I can go to contacts uh, and I can manage, first of all, uh, I, did an, I did an automatic contact download. I can deactivate that if I don't want my contacts in there. I can also re-download the list. The third item down here is to re-download the contact list. Uh, so if for some reason you think maybe somebody's not in there, you can re-download it. You can also delete all contacts from your vehicle. Uh, so you would, if you do that you, and you don't want those on there, you may want to also uh, deactivate the automatic contact download button at the top. And then there are different options for how you want to s your, your name sorted. Last name, first name, uh, and that kind of sort uh, right there. So you want to make sure uh, that that's activated in, in there and it should be all set up. Four does that already. Uh, you do have set ringtone. Now, Sync 3, you may not have, you probably, you may not have the option down here of use phone ringtone. Uh, I can't remember on my vehicle if that's an option, uh, but you do have three other ringtones if you want or no ringtone. So you can just click the play button over there. Kind of shows you what those sound like. So you can choose one of those three or you can use your phone ringtone. Uh, which I'm going to leave on and do it that way uh, for our phone here. Um, now you go back here, uh, text messaging, you click on that, and you have some options like do not disturb. Like I'm driving, I'm not going to text and drive, I'm not going to accept text. You can hit do not disturb. They will not pop up. They will not display and let you know you have a text message uh, in the, until you, you know, un, 
connect your phone then your phone will probably let you know that you can also go into text messaging there and you can have different options you have text messaging you can have it uh, activated which means if you get a text there's a prompt here it'll prompt you it'll come up on the screen it'll prompt you with a text message and you have options of what you want to do and you can hit the listen button and you can listen to the text message if you want to uh, and it'll go ahead and play the text message verbally for you so you know whether or not you need to respond or not and then you also have sounds for that and then you have different three different ringtones for your text message so you have those options you'll notice your phone is not an option there uh, for that you have to choose one of these three and that's uh, to kind of have that activated for text messaging and then you have edit responses you do have some canned responses in here and I think uh, if I remember right uh, from I know on my device uh, I don't have the responses if I want to hit reply it doesn't let me while I'm driving I think if you're stopped it probably lets you I don't usually uh, will do that I will wait till I'm on the stop or something to text someone back uh, but you do have these messages in here and you notice it says edit so at any time if we want to change any of the wording on these uh, we can actually click on that and then you'll see the keypad comes up you can backspace and you can change uh, that right there so you can't move those and delete them as you know uh, there's no delete or anything, uh, but if you like, maybe you would like to rather have one of these up here at the top, then if you just click on it, you can edit that top one to be, you know, something that you, you're going to use more often. You can just retype it however you want to, and you can do that for each one of these if you want to, instead of moving it, because you can't move them up or down, you can't delete them, uh, but if you want to move something up, you would just have to click on one of those and retype it, uh, but you can edit those canned responses uh, right there. Uh, so going back and going down you can mute audio and privacy what that means is uh, if you're like right now we're connected to the vehicle and if a phone call comes in everyone in the car is going to be able to hear that phone call but if I uh, click the uh, but if I click the privacy button uh, when a phone call comes in then I can it'll go over to my phone and then I can listen I can talk to them on my phone so everybody else doesn't hear the conversation at least the other end of the conversation uh, so if you click the uh, uh, mute that during privacy that means that the audio will still mute so when it when it, it takes a call with everybody in the in there over the intercom system um, it's going to automatically mute the audio if you want it to also stay muted when you're in privacy, you would want to uh, move that over uh, to that. Uh, roaming uh, warning, it'll up here, it'll tell you if you're in roaming. And then also battery, a low light, uh, low battery indicator as well for your phone. Uh, it'll actually, your phone icon is up there, so it shows your battery life. But if you want it to pop up and give, tell you when you're, you're getting low battery, you can uh, move that over as well. So there's all your settings for your phone. I wanted to go over those first. You might want to go through those before you uh, get started uh, when you first connect your vehicle just to make sure you have everything. There's something else I'm going to show you at the end of the video for those that have the Sync 4 system that's available now that was not, it's not available in Sync 3 that you might think about also activating. We're going to show you that at the end. Uh, of the of the video so you can uh, see that that's just dedicated to the sync 4 system the uh, rest of this should be uh, should be available in your sync 3 as well so you're going to have up here you're going to have some of the main ones that are going to be pulling from your contacts so your favorites recent calls contacts and messaging those four buttons will all come based on what's on your phone I'm not going to click into those buttons because it's going to show my playlist and I'll have to blur it out anyway you won't be able to see it anyway uh, but on the under the favorites it's going to be whatever's the favorites that you've chosen in your phone. I have, I think, my family members and a couple uh, uh, vehicle people at the dealership here that are in as my favorites. Uh, so you go there and you're going to see your favorite contacts. So if they're people you call a lot, they're in your favorites, you can click there and then you can click on their name to go ahead and call them. Also, your recent call list. So basically, people that have called you the most recent are going to show up, uh, you know, in order there. So you can actually, if you know someone just called you, you want to call them back. You can go into recent calls, click on their name, and you can go ahead and call them. Also, you can go to contacts. And when you go to contacts, uh, you click on that, then you can also see your contacts. You can also search for your contacts. If you have a lot of contacts in there, you can then search for certain people if you want to, to be able to call them. And then under messaging is the same way you click on that. It's going to show you the last people that have sent you text messages as well. So you can go over there and choose to text them if you're stopped, uh, that kind of thing. Uh, and, and all the, those things right there. So again, uh, you can do all those through that system uh, right there. But you can also do it by voice command. So I uh, really, uh, you know, I really don't use in my system use those buttons there uh, because I use the voice commands. So I, I press the voice button and then I tell it what I'm going to do. So call Jake or call 
somebody and then I'm going to shut that off. Then um, it's going to go ahead and pull that up. So if I hit call on MacArthur. Which number would you like? One. Calling Long MacArthur MacArthur at work. So again, it's going to start calling Long MacArthur. I'm going to actually end that call because uh, the secretary will not be happy with me. So no, um, I'm, that's that's that simple. You can use the button to be able to do that and make the voice command. And of course, anybody in your contact list, they're going to pop up. Uh, sometimes it'll ask you if you want sell or work, if you have multiple numbers in there. Um, but that's a lot safer while you're driving just to press a button, use the voice commands to call people instead of hitting there, touching buttons and not keeping your eyes on the road. So. I would, I would imagine most people are going to use the voice commands instead of those four buttons. Uh, also, your phone list button is going to be just like we did uh, see. If you have multiple phones, uh, right now we're connected to Tim's Galaxy, but if there's a multiple one, let's say a wife that has a phone too, and she wants to be connected to her phone and play music from her phone, uh, then you may want to click onto the phone list and click on, on that name, and then you would then hit connect. This says disconnect, so you know, you, you know, actually if you press that other phone, it will disconnect my phone and then connect to her phone uh, and, and that kind of thing. So that's how that, that's the, the purpose of the phone list there. Voice assistant, when you click on that and you're connected to Android Auto Apple CarPlay, uh, what it'll do is on your phone, then it'll pull it up to allow you to use it instead. Like if I want to use OK Google uh, to be able to, where instead of saying OK Google, I click on that and it automatically does it. So it's, your phone's not, when it's connected, it's not listening to those voice commands like that, but you have to hit the voice assistant button for it then to use your phone to listen to it. And I have my phone shut off right now, so it's not doing that. Uh, but typically, when you connect to Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, you would hit that voice assistant button, and then it'll, it'll be doing that. So uh, if I then click it, see then it's coming up, and it's even giving me an option there, so I can say different things there. Uh, but I'm going to deactivate that, so I just uncheck that button, and that should go away. So that's how that works. Also, do not disturb. You can click on that, and that's going to shut it off. So you can't accept phone calls as well. It's going to not. It's going to be in that do not disturb. So that's pretty much all the how to connect your phone, how to make those phone calls. Again, voice commands are best way to be able to to connect to make those phone calls. Uh, I also want to talk about the Sync 4 system and something that's new for the Sync 4. If I go over to to settings, and I have to remember where that's at again. Okay, go into settings, there should be a voice control button. So if I click on voice control, now I have some other options in the new Sync 4 system. It's more intuitive Sync 4 system, so it's uh, listening and doing better voice commands, connected a little bit better. But one of them that I like is this listen for wake up word. If I click on that and I go down here, here's some preferences. You have some. Now, uh, the first three all include the first two words in, in all three of them. Uh, so if no matter what you have, it's going to be looking for that keyword anyway. Uh, but then there's also one down here. Uh, so if I say, hello, Ford, I don't have to press the button. It's already listening. I, I just love that. I think it's great. It's a lot like what you get with Alexa and you get with your um, your Google Home and such. So, you know, just like you would with Alexa and uh, Google Home, now you can do it with your, your Ford system. Uh, you can even say if you want to use the OK Ford, then it's going to be listening already so you don't have to press the button. Uh, so I love that. I love that update to the Sync uh, 4 system. Uh, I'm going to deactivate. That's where it comes. So if you want that, um, it's always going to come from the factory is deactivated. So you'll need to go into here and find that. So again, just so you know where that's located, you go to settings, you go to voice control, and then that's where that's going to be located right there. Uh, there's also some information on the, uh, I love here, the, the voice command list. What it, uh, that's activated. That means they're going to, those options like it came up earlier are going to show you. Also, you do have down here command help. Uh, what's really cool is it shows you what different commands are possible. There's even more on there that's possible other than what's in here. But if I'm on like Sirius, it tells you, you can tell it to, you know, Sirius channel, whatever. So they're going to, um, actually, we got to hit the button again, but. Sirius channel 144. Not even sure what's on 144. 144. So, but it just tuned, it just changed the channel uh, to 144. It's Korea today. I didn't even know it was on there, but um, that's how that works. So it's real easy to use. Uh, but these uh, these command lists will tell you what those different are. For radio, it shows you you can uh, you can actually say what you know 
the, the source, and then you can say the channel number, uh, you can say AM, FM, whatever it might be. You even have one for media, so if you have your phone connected and you have media on your phone or podcasts or whatever, you can actually say listen to podcasts and you put the name of the podcast. You can say listen to artist or song or whatever. It's, if, it's on, if you're connected and you have uh, USB, you can, you can actually tell the system to listen to certain songs. So um, that's really easy. So any of these work, navigation is the same way. You can say navigate to and you can say the house number, the street, the city, the state, and it should pull that up so you can go ahead and set your destination. Where's the nearest gas station? It even shows you and then allows you to be able to connect to it. So uh, it shows you the options for all the different systems here of what are available for the voice command. And I think that's something new for this year. Uh, if it was available on Sync 3, I didn't actually cover that in my videos, so I apologize for that. But uh, those are some other different things you might want to think about under the Ford Voice uh, right there. But uh, that's really how this system works. Uh, just one part of this system right here. Well, thanks for watching our video uh, this week for Tech Tuesday. A couple things I want to tell you about uh, to be looking for in the future uh, and a reason why you might want to be subscribed to our YouTube channel. Hit that red subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell. That way you get notified next time another video upload to our channel. But we will not only be doing these every Tuesday, so you definitely want to hit that notification bell for those notifications. But also we have other videos that go live throughout the week. And we do these how-to videos, our complete guide videos. Uh, we had one went live yesterday uh, on Monday uh, on the F1, the 21 F-150 XL trim. Uh, I think it was an hour and 12 minute long video. Uh, but again, very thorough video. You can bounce around using the description and the timestamps on the timeline to move around in the video if you want to see just different parts of it. Uh, if you just like to see you know what's standard on all F-150s you can see that in section first uh, or if you want to see you know what's even possible. Uh, really amazed at how well equipped you can get an XL truck and some features that are available on every F-150 that just you don't see in other automakers out there. But also uh, if you we also for this week have some other videos going live. We have our lightning bolt finally ready for the 21 F-150. People have been asking for that on our videos. So lightning bolt, we do have one ready. You should see that this week. Uh, and should see a video later in the week. So want to make sure that you're uh, watching our YouTube channel for that. Also, if you like this video, smash the like button. Drop your comments down below for those. Uh, and don't forget at any time, share the video out. If you have a friend, family member that has a Ford uh, vehicle, that know they have the Sync 3 or Sync 4 system that they might need this video, go ahead and share that out to them. I know a couple people that I'm going to share it out uh, after this video is over. Uh, but just loved interacting with you throughout the video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you uh, check back with the next text Tuesday next Tuesday at 6 p.m. Central Time uh, for another take and I want to get that feedback from you so hopefully you've left some comments down there of some other videos that you're wanting me to do and cover on technology uh, you know being here at the dealership I can you know learn more about it and uh, I can go put those videos out there for you so you can we can learn from each other uh, and you can get that information on some different technology that you want uh, answers on on your Ford vehicle so uh, definitely drop those down in the comments and uh, until the next video uh, we'll see you later don't forget to find us on social media we're at Law MacArthur on Facebook Twitter and Instagram see you later